Perhaps the most moving moment in Dancing with the Devil comes when Demi opens up for the first time about the traumatic sexual abuse she endured as a teenager. I'm so proud of how much work that I was able to do on that and and I'm also like it, because I was able to have that platform thanks to Michael and obviously YouTube Originals like because I had that platform to share that story I feel like it'll give people better insight into what I was going through at that time like sometimes people um hear my music from when I was a teenager and they're like oh you were so angry and I'm like yeah and now you guys get to see a little bit of of <laughs> not a little bit but yeah you get to see why I was so angry and um and having put that out in front of a camera in front of people to see knowing that people have seen that it's freeing it's empowering it's liberating and it really lets that anger that was kind of inside of me, like just kind of dissolved. Um, and I had let go of a lot of the anger beforehand, but um, this was kind of just the final send off of like, okay, I can, I can really heal from this now. Now that I've talked about it, now that I, I know that other people can hear my story and hopefully get the courage to speak up about theirs, you know, I just hope that it helps people. I was going to add, even just if you watch that moment carefully, you see Demi working through it. I mean, she says, you know, F it, I'm going to go there. And she gets, says, I'm, I'm going to share that this story. And I think that that did take time. And that was on our last interview. Um, that was literally the last sit down that we had. And um, I think that that's really powerful. And it says something about the process and ultimately getting to a point where you're like, this is the right safe space. Um, and I do want to share this because mm -hmm. I think there's an environment where I feel in control and I can tell my story and I just have somebody there listening and then I can decide how much I want to actually put in there and I think that was what was just so powerful. What I would tell my younger self is when the time is right and when you feel ready, you can talk about it and you're going to heal from it and you're going to feel so much more empowered, you'll be free of the shame, and it's, it'll be an up and down journey, but when you do finally decide to confront that and do the work around it, really do the work around it, it's so rewarding and, it, and it's so freeing, and, and I, I just, I, I want not just my 15-year-old self to hear that, but anyone else who's been abused.